Hey everyone, it's Brian with California Garden TV. Today we're going to be showing you how to squeeze every last ounce out of your summer vegetable garden. And after that, we're going to be introducing you to a brand new, really cute garden companion. We're coming to the end of summer, and if you plant it early, most things are just barely hanging on. The summer flew by. Although, is it just me or does it seem to fly by faster the older we get? Um, but I'm just not ready to be done harvesting those great summer vegetables. So I've got a plan to just extend that a little bit longer. So there are a few things that I'm going to send in for round two. Now they have to be things that produce fast. Summer squash, beans, and cucumbers fit the bill for me. All three of them will be ready in less than two months. So that takes me into the middle of October where we still have enough heat for these plants to thrive. The great thing about planting seeds at this time of year is that with the heat of summer, they seem to come up overnight. In fact, these squash I actually planted or sowed five days ago and they're already up and, and ready to go. Now I'm only going to be using one bed for these late summer vegetables because in a few weeks I'm going to be planting fall vegetables and I'm going to want the room. Except for the cucumbers which I'm going to be planting over where I took the, um, the beans out. So I already have the squash planted. It's zucchini and yellow early. And I'm going to be planting bush beans, strike down at the end. And then along the back here we're going to put in the tomato cuttings that I took a couple of weeks ago and then the other great thing about summer heat is that tomatoes any cuttings root really quickly and actually you can see they're already well rooted and ready to go i've actually got my son noah out here helping me today to get started with these tomatoes that's what we're going to do first say hi hi we're going to do the tomatoes first and we've got three varieties um the first one is sweetie which is a cherry tomato We've got yellow pear, which is a yellow pear tomato. And we've also got Kellogg's breakfast, which is the best tomato ever produced. Thank you, Mr. Kellogg, whoever you are. Um, so I've already got the holes dug here. I've got rock phosphate and a good organic slow release fertilizer in the hole. So we're all ready. So the first one we're gonna plant is Sweetie. I'm gonna take these out of here and take a look at the good root systems they've got. Looks good. All right, so I'm going to plant this one and you plant this one, right? Okay. So we're going to take the two. I'm going to put two cuttings per hole because I've got four and we have a short season ahead of us. So let's get as much as we can. I'm just going to put the roots right down at the bottom and we're going to backfill the dirt right in there on top of them. And firm it down a little bit. And then I'll come by and bury the soaker hose with mulch. That's good. And remember, when you plant the tomatoes deep, it's totally fine because they're going to root wherever the, um, the stem touches the soil. All right, this is the yellow pear. So we're going to put the roots right to the bottom there. Backfill the soil in. Firm it down. Good job, a little more soil. Fill in the whole entire hole so it's level. Perfect. One more. Okay, done with the tomatoes. Now we're gonna plant the beans. And we're gonna take two beans per direct sow. Let's take these two. And we're just gonna push them in half inch to an inch under the soil. And what we're gonna do is, because we've already got this soaker hose laid in here, is we're gonna kind of do it um, right along the hose. And maybe about six inches apart. You bury them? Yep. Just cover them over. Actually, we'll bury them after, so we remember where we put them. All right, so now we are gonna plant our cucumbers. We've got these poles here that we just took the runner beans off of a couple of weeks ago. So they're gonna serve as our support for the cucumbers to grow up. And I am planting a tender green Persian cucumber. Okay, so we've got our seeds 
And we're going to put them, what you're going to do is we're going to put them right down this trench here. So right here? Nope, right down in this trench. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to put one down, then put your hand down, and then put another one about the width of your hand apart. Okay? okay and then put your hand on the other side of that one. Perfect. You know, the poles are going to get in the way a little bit, but that's all right. They don't have to be perfect. What? I said this is fun. Did you say this is fun? Yeah. You heard that. Okay. So we've already got that one there. <laughs> Let's clean those up later. Okay. Keep going. Where's the last one? Right there. Right there. Okay. Now just take the dirt and cover it back over. Okay, so we're done planting and I'm so glad because usually I, I do this way too late and then it just gets all mixed up with the fall planting. So I'm glad it's done, it's out of the way. And now as promised, we wanna introduce you to a brand new garden companion and family member. This is Boomer. He is a terrier mix and we actually adopted him a couple of months ago from a rescue here in Southern California called Paw Works. I'll put the link uh, in the description below. So if you guys live nearby, um, Ventura County, even LA County, I guess, and you wanna adopt a puppy, they're a great, great organization. They have really cute ones too. They do have really cute ones. He loves being outside. So have a feeling you're gonna see a lot of him in uh, future videos. So that's enough right there to subscribe, right? And j don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can get more of this little dog. <laughs> All right, say goodbye. Say it bye. 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 We'll see you guys on the next video.